What are you doing, Miles? What is that? What is that? It's a bean. Here. No, throw it. Throw it? Yeah, just give it a good underhand toss. Rolling that in down there. Come on, Miles. Okay, so yesterday y'all know we got the wrong seal kit, or I got the wrong seal kit. No, I'll tell you all about that in a minute. Oh, okay, never mind. So today, Dad and Miles went back up there and got both cylinders. They put the other side on already. Now we're putting on the right side. Nothing like showing up to the farm in your pajamas. <laughs> Don't you wish this was your life? So what's the deal with the kit? The book is showing it wrong, or showing it different than what we've got. Uh -huh. The part number on the cylinder itself, wherever it's at, it's actually stamped into the cylinder. That part is correct. The seal kit is wrong. Huh. Look how hard he's working. Bring it here. Thank you. <laughs> Ready? Mama. So I'm gonna bleed them, or I'm gonna attempt to. Uh, it's probably gonna make a mess. So we are going to lift it all the way up, and then we're gonna get out here, and we're gonna crack open that screw and let all the air come out, and then we're gonna run it through the cycle a couple times. So let's go do that. all that air out. <laughs> I believe that's got that taken care of. I'm gonna put our tools back up real quick. Okay, so the problem that we were having was once you lifted it all the way up, the left side would leak off. Run it through the cycle a couple times. Well, doesn't appear to be leaking. So we're gonna put both snouts back on and we should be ready to get to cutting beans. Oh wow, that was really difficult to figure out. <laughs> and none of it recorded. So, oh, somebody's calling. Hello. Are you running? Yeah. Everything doing okay? Yep. Okay. Did you find anything out about the seal kit? Uh, we just are now going by where you go to the city club. Oh, okay. As soon as I find something out, I'll let you know. All right. Bye-bye. So, Dad, went to take the seal kit back 
and he also took our old cylinder up there so they could see what seals were in it because it's not the seals that are in the kit so like they're not the same but the part number on the cylinder is the same so everybody's a little confused i think i'm a little under the weather and it, i have been for like a few weeks now and i'm starting to think maybe it's not just allergies or a cold we're gonna persevere we're gonna get through this anyway i say that because if i sound a little like stuffy or sniffly that's why please excuse me also the new auger i'm loving it it's so much easier to unload on the trailer and the grain cart now i have to go a little bit slower than i normally do because there's a lot of water hemp in this field this year i'm just gonna take it easy make sure everything feeds well it's just one of those things everybody deals with it at some point i'm not gonna act like we're perfect so every once in a while we have something like this happen i think that's everything that i had to say I'm gonna get back to it. I'm currently running about three miles an hour where this water hemp is pretty thick. My game plan is to uh, make one round, which is just a down and back, and then unload every time. That way, like I don't end up getting stuck at the end of the field full and have to drive all the way back up to the front and just, that's just a waste of time. So I'm just gonna unload every time I go back up to the trailer because I think I mean these are making pretty good beans so I'll be pretty close to full anyway okay now that's all that I had to say I think okay y'all I finished this field up that is when dad got here so dad hopped in the combine and i hopped in the grain cart unloaded what was on the grain cart and then dad went and opened up the next field and now he's unloading from that field onto the truck so that i can head out i'm gonna roll the tarp Watch out. Okay, we're ready to hit the road.